what's up guys welcome back to the channel um, this video is going to be mainly for beginners that are still learning how to use NSB I'm going to teach you guys how to set up your task for foot sites and a couple different ways to avoid your orders getting cancelled because I know that's a common thing with foot sites so that's what I'll be going over today but before I go over that here's a quick sponsorship video if you guys are still looking for a cook group I highly suggest you guys get drop alert now that I'm sponsored by Drop Alert, you can use my promo code JC15 to get 15% off your order. As you can see here, it's $20 a month, so give it a try. Try out a month and see how it works for you. Also, if you're in need of some proxies, I highly recommend you guys get Oculus ISPs. Um, now that I am sponsored by Oculus, you can get 25% off your order if you use my promo code JC, exactly how you see it on the screen right now. So head over to Oculus if you need ISPs. Use the promo code Get your 25% off and let's see how the proxies work for you. So let's get into creating the task now for foot sites. Um, if you ever hear the word foot sites, it's only four websites, which is Foot Locker, Champ Sports, East Bay, and Foot Action. So and all this and the steps that I'm about to do for Foot Locker is exactly the same for all other three foot sites. So I'm just gonna teach you guys how to do a task for Foot Locker. So when you go to Foot Locker, Here's the two modes you could use. Always use smooth. Don't ever use mobile. If you use mobile for every single task you have, you're going to have to solve a CAPTCHA. And you don't want to do that for every task. So just put it on smooth. NSB will do the CAPTCHAs for you. For the SKUs, here's how you get a SKU for a shoe that you want to bought. So here's the Foot Locker page. Usually, you can only get the SKUs a day before the drop. So you can see right here it's July 6th. These are coming out tomorrow, July 7th, so what you, would, what you would do is click on it, and then you would scroll down to the bottom right here, and where it says product number, this right here would be the SKU, so you just copy that in, you just copy that, and paste that into the SKU area. It's that easy, um, like I said, usually it you can only get it a day before the drop, so for example, if I wanted to get these threes that are coming out this Saturday, you can see I click on it, but you can't really scroll down anywhere. Now up here, this right here might be the SKU. I don't know for sure yet, so like I said, I would just wait a day before. So just remember that. That's how you get the SKU. For sizes, let's say, let's go back to the Crocs real quick. You can see they're having sizes 4 through 10. Let's say you want a size 9. You would just type in 9 like that. If you want a 9 through 10, you would type in the sizes like that, separated by a comma with no spaces. Now, let's say you're trying to get a grade school shoe. It's the same thing. You would just type in like 6, 6 and a half through 7. You wouldn't type in like 6Y for 6 youth. You would just type in the numbers only. So, remember that. Or you could leave it blank, which is a random size. Or you could type in capital RA like that. It doesn't really matter. They're both the same. You can also type in FA for first available, which means, let's just say for the Crocs, the first available size is the 4, so it would only go for the 4. Or you could type in LA for last available, and that would only go for the 10, since that's, a, that's the last size. So That's how you would set it up. Um, the most common one I use is I just leave it blank for random. So for your billing, you can see I have a bunch of billings right here. Every single one of my billing accounts has a different address on it, a different email address, different um, debit card, and a different what I say address, email address, and phone number. So make sure those are all different. Let's just say my J and my let's see Jordan one had anything that's the same, and they both checked out the same shoe, your order would get canceled. So make sure every single one of your billing accounts is different for all of those. Proxies, there's a bunch of different proxies out there. Here's what I'm using at the moment. I have my Jiru Residential, my Omega Residential, my Leaf Residential, and my Oculus ISPs. So those are the proxies I'm using right now. For Residential, you could use, um, you could make more tasks, but just remember the more tasks you make, the more data that I burn. So that's really up to you of how much tasks you want to make. Advance is basically your delays. I like to leave this alone, so I don't even click on this at all. Um, if you're wondering, I know some people use like 3,000 for each, like that, or they would type in 3333 like that for each. 
But like I said, for me, I leave these blank and then I don't even click on this. Scheduling your task. So I'm on the west coast. All of the foot sight drops are usually at 7 a.m. I always start my tasks 5 to 10 minutes before the drop. So I'll start at like 6.50 a.m. or 6.55. So that's how you would schedule a task. And like I said earlier, when you have it on smooth, you don't have to solve a capture, so you don't even have to click on this. So when you submit that, that's pretty much how you set up the task for foot sites. Like I said earlier, th this step for Foot Locker, exactly the same as Champ Sports, East Bay, and Foot Action. You'll see when I type in Champ Sports, everything looks the same. You just go to Smooth. You it might have a different SKU for a shoe that you want, so go to the website and find that out. But it's the same pretty much. Start it 5 to 10 minutes before, just like Foot Locker. So that's how you would set, um, set up tasks for foot sites. Now here's something that you can do to avoid your uh, foot site orders to be canceled. Like I said earlier, different phone number, different address, different email address. And it's really easy. You could, For phone number, they never call you. They never confirm anything with your phone number. So for that, you could just literally make up any phone number and that would work. So don't worry too much about that. Just make sure it's different. Address, you might need a different address. I don't, I don't know if jigging your address works. I know some people try to do it. I personally have never tried to, so I couldn't tell you if it works or not, but you can try that. If you could get, if you could get a different address, do that. Email address, same thing. If you're gonna need multiple ones, so if you don't have another one, just make another one or use somebody else's. That's mainly only gonna be for like order confirmations and um, tracking number so if you don't really care about those and you already know it's gonna go straight to you you don't really have to worry about that card number obviously every single one has to be different so just make sure all of those are different so your order doesn't get cancelled another thing when I first started off using NSB and I started checking out a lot of shoes I was getting probably like I would say 60% of my orders cancelled that might be because of your bank cancelling it because it's not used to you checking out that many shoes on the website so call your bank make sure to tell them let it go through I don't know if a hundred percent that's why it's getting canceled but that's that's what I think so call your bank and make sure they don't cancel it anymore so those are just a couple tips I would give you to prevent your order from being canceled but again it does happen a lot so I mean it hasn't happened to me in the last um, I would say eight months since I've called my bank so if your orders are getting canceled a lot, call your bank and see what they can do. But that's probably the only tips I could give you for the order cancellations. But that's going to be pretty much today's video, guys. I just wanted to show people, especially the beginners, how to set up tasks for foot sites. And those tips that I just gave to avoid your orders being canceled. If you have any questions at all about it, just leave it down in the comments below. And I'll try to answer it as soon as I can. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. We're getting so close to 900 subscribers right now. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe and like this video. And I'll be doing more NSB videos soon. And I'll do a setup for the threes that are coming out this weekend. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.